It's my right shot. I'm crazy. Play, I've been craving. If I put it quite plainly, just give me. Hi, guys. Welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Penny Z Lay. And um, aka Zainab. Today, I wanted to do. It's my right shot. <laughs> girl. Um, so, look, you know. I wanted to do a a q and a so your questions if you're not following me follow me on instagram so you can join in next time and get you a glass of wine because this is a q and a and i said ask me anything so yeah so i am going to do that i ain't drinking because you know the girl's still recovering and i wish i could be drinking right now but i my outfit is this top is a men's section from zara and some blue jeans from ASOS, the tall section. Just some straight leg big jeans. Hair, Ali Pearl, you know. Anyway, so let's get to it. I think I'm gonna button this up. This is for you guys to get to know me better. Yeah, like I put on all my socials, so I put on Snapchat and I put on um, Instagram. If you're not following me, it's Penny Z Lane or Penny F and Lane you know your girl so let me i think we got a lot of questions so see all yeah we got quite a few questions so let's start with start with the obvious one that everyone wants to know am i single guys do you pay attention yes i am single i've been talking about it for the longest i've been single for now four years like i've like I started dating last year and then this year and um, what's called last year and it didn't quite work out so I was on a couple of dating apps if you see my video where I explain all my experiences girl it wasn't a fun experience and I'm just going with the flow right now I decided not to date for like I meet anyone I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know but I am single guys next question is what's your favorite lip combo my favorite lip combo if you don't know you must it's fenty gloss balm um i think it's the fussy one don't correct me if i'm wrong um chestnut lip liner and usually it's either jubilee or some ted baker nude so any nude in the middle and i, I just love that 90s look i think like overdrawn lips with your like a nude together i love a good red but yeah oh this one Ghanaian or nigerian men well i've only really dated nigerian men so guys i have to say that oh, nigerian men uh, until i date a Ghanaian man i can't really tally them up and um, even though the nigerian men do be doing me dirty so i don't know maybe i work with a lot of Ghanaians. But I don't know, I don't know, because until I date them, I can't like give a real opinion about them. But I love my Nigerian men, like I'm staying away from Ibo men now because I've date three of them <laughs> and it like previously and it just not successful. But I I love my Yoruba men, I have to say. But until I date a Ghanaian man, I can't really tell you the difference, girl. But I have a lot of Ghanaian friends. <laughs> Not a question. Love your content. Keep it up. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Um, how many kids do I want? How many kids do I want? I think I want... I think I want three. And at max, it's four. Because I come from a big household. There's like six... There's six of us in top... No, that's a lie. There's four of us in total, and then I have some half brothers and sisters. So, um, what's it called? Me and like grown up, me and my sisters and my little brother. Well, me and my sisters are really close, and my little brother, yeah, he's just like M3 plus four. <laughs> but we we really are close, and I will do a sister tag. I was, we did record one previously, but it just the content was so crap. So that's that's a, another time another day yeah so i would want my children to have siblings i don't want to like a boy and a girl. i don't care if they're a boy or a girl or two girls and a boy or whatever what like as long as they're healthy god being permitted like i'm happy because 
I was always the sick child, um, but I got, I was the princess. I would say I am the Beyonce of the siblings, but I mean, you haven't seen my other sisters, so until you see my other sisters, then you could judge. But I would say I am is the Beyonce of the sisters of the family. <laughs> is there anything you don't know about me? Is there anything you guys don't know about me? I don't know. That's. I don't think I think I'm very transparent so to be honest I feel like you guys I really let you guys in like um, this is the platform I, I created to be transparent to be as open I showed you my sickle cell journey like I'm going to do if you want a Q&A on sickle cell if you want to join in next time let me know um, I will do a separate Q&A on sickle cell like the disease growing up with it how it affects me day to day how it affects me when i'm ill how it affects me when i'm not ill how it affects me in a relationship yeah i will explain that um in another vlog but i think i'm very transparent your girl is just living in london it's just a normal london girl I'm living by herself in her 30s i mean i didn't see my life being like this I would, I would have thought like I would have been married by now. No, here or there. I, there's so much things that I want to do before I even settle down and have kids. So, and I could do it with my kids to be honest, because this, this, you could, there's no limit in this world. What's your, what's one of your biggest goals this year? Oh, that's a bit personal, but yeah, I'll be happy. One of my biggest goals is to get 100 subscribers, and actually to own this house like to own this flat i want to own this flat as if you don't know i am renting this is from the council but i'm working on because it's the council flat if you don't know in the uk it's social housing um and i got it fortunate i plan to buy this one right to buy um yeah that's one of my goals to own this flat and then move on what's your greatest strengths my greatest strengths is to keep remaining happy i would say keep remaining happy like keep pushing positivity out um i know sometimes we have those days that like i know in the previous vlogs i've shown like sometimes it's not rosy but keep remaining happy even though i am sick i am ill like just keep remaining happy only god can give us this world like he's given us another day so that's what I would say my biggest strength is. What would I tell my younger self? Listen, baby. <laughs> I would give her a little slack on the world, I get. Um, obviously, everything is a life lesson. You need to learn. Um, what's it called? And you need to go through it. To say you've lived life, because you still keep learning. So I would say, um, I would tell my younger self actually, is concentrate more on your GCSEs. Like, don't focus on friends because I tend to have that personality where I focus on a lot of my friends and like playing and stuff I don't even know why <laughs> but I used to have that habit and like when a friend said she didn't want to be my friend anymore I'd be so sad and stuff but then I was like it's all right obviously don't do what you don't want to do and don't sacrifice yourself for other people because that pe person is not living your life what have I learnt turning 30? Being unapologetic. Um, being unapologetic me. So that means, we see, live your life, yeah? Mind your business, another thing. Like, just being an unapologetic me. I am who I am. Like, there's no other Zainab. So, and there's no other you. So just live your life. Like, every every situation is a life lesson and you grow from it you learn from it and you move on it develops your um it develops who you are and it's when you see like be good to people because in this life not everyone is having a good day but if you give them that one piece of goodness in their life like buying their coffee let's say it's just a new it's it's i won't even say it's a good feeling because it is a good feeling but it's just like spreading god's love and it's like until you find god's love you can't really explain it but that's one thing just being unapologetic me that's one one thing i learned in my 30s my favorite food jollof rice 
I know I've been saying this for years but Jollof rice is Jollof rice and shaki on the side if you don't know it's a Nigerian cuisine but Jollof rice is my favorite food can you do a work wear haul I actually just filmed it so check out the next I don't know when it's gonna be up because either this is up or that one I don't know but I will what's it called I'll let you know do you have any underlying sickness? Yes, I do. I um, I suffer from sickle cell anemia. I've had it all my life. It's a disease that you're born with. Not a question. Miss you. Oh, I miss you too, boo. When was your last boyfriend, girl? <laughs> I can't say. I I really can't say. So, my last boyfriend. Wow, this is when I was like. 24 I think if that was a boy well like I, I would say because I've been in a lot of situationships like I'll be <sighs> girl my life's a mess but <laughs> I am just telling you my truth like I've been in a lot of situationships like I'm that kind of girl that doesn't like my first heavy relation like real relationship i craved for that title like a girlfriend title and then i left him like someone for two years to go to um someone for let's say two months or three months no it was like four months like someone for four months to call me his girlfriend i left that and he treated the guy for four months treated me so shit compared to the guy for two years even though um I created that title yes I wouldn't settle for nothing less now but I was young I was 21 like I created that title but I was so happy in that situation like, I was generally so happy I brought him all around my family we, we brought him around each other's friends like, we still talk to today and that was like 10 years ago can you imagine like baby <laughs> I actually spoke to him yesterday like that was my best friend at that time so yeah that's when we were i don't really 24 or 22 <laughs> i don't know i can't remember i'm not really heavy on the titles guys when would you say is the best time to invest in a property i think t now is the best time to, to invest in a property um if you want a property if you think about property q and a i'll be happy to do that um now is the best time to a property to invest in a property it's a buyer's market the um stamp duty duty has been extended is it the stamp duty relax that is up to 500k yeah so the stamp duty holiday has been extended to i think when is it extended to i think it's may i think it's may i can't remember but yeah if you're in a property q a how it is to work in an estate but well, i don't work in an estate agent i work in a property i'm a property consultant so i do everything with property so from static homes to rent in to sales to invest in to developments that's my role yeah so oh it's been extended to june guys when was your last relationship i wouldn't say the last person i dated was this year actually it ended this year january listen well that's not even a relationship i took i took the person serious and the person didn't take me how long have you been living alone so i've been living alone for i think it's five years five years now how are you really oh no um well i'm just quite recovering right now but um i don't think i'm okay Thanks for asking. When was you, you guys want to know about my love life, innit? Have you ever been? Have you ever been in love? I would say no. When I was twenty-one with that previous relationship, I, just, I would say I was. Was I in love? I don't know. I don't know. I was too young, but I wouldn't say I was too young. But I wouldn't allow myself to fully give myself to him because. He wouldn't give me that title, so maybe I have been in love, maybe I haven't. But I kept, I kept deeply for him. I've never fully, fully said, yeah, I give, I love this person. Have I even told someone? Like, I slip up here. I'm when in the moment type of girl. So sometimes I would say I love you when 
I know that's bad, but sometimes I'm in that moment, like I'm a hopeless romantic and it's just like, oh my God, maybe it is love. I don't know. Who knows? Guys, I'm going to do two more and that's it. Who is your favorite person in the whole wide world? Michael Jackson. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, who is my favorite person? I don't really do favorites, if you guys don't know, but if I have to, there's no, I can't narrow it down because everyone plays a part in my life and I love them like they, they, everyone plays a part in my life and they play a particular puzzle in my life so I can't really narrow that down I love my mum, I love my sisters, I love my brother, I love my best friends, I love like my work family like they're all uh, important to me so I don't want to say no one in particular but obviously my family's love is different to my work family's love but yeah what do you enjoy what do you most enjoy in your spare time doing in your spare time i love to sleep <laughs> i'm gonna end it there um guys thanks for watching if you want to see more of these i'll be happy to film this content for you um please like comment and subscribe if you've got more questions just comment down below listen i'm a single girl that lives by herself and living in the uk i will answer <laughs> i'm joking but yeah so guys thanks for tuning in if you stayed this long um we're on the road to 1000 subs help me share it like it with your friends and family and yeah we keep building a fan love you guys